So do you ever just take a nap uh, in the daytime and then you wake up with a splitting headache? Or worse, uh, if you're a student, you does all during class and you again wake up with a splitting headache. But like, there's still have a date of class you have to take. This thing happens to me all the time. Like ever since uh, high school, I don't know when, but like, uh, I've been in this cycle of like, being bored at class, I get sleepy, I doze off, and then I wake up with a headache. And then I take another class, I get bored again, I doze off. I wake up with an even worse headache. <laughs> like this, this is terrible and this is still happening in my university life. I don't know if anyone else went through this, but uh, I think Likely, a lot of other students probably go through this as well. And usually, uh, what you want to do is don't fall asleep. But that's easier said than done because you know how long these classes are and like the average attention span for a human is like 30 minutes. At this point, you either just try your hardest to not fall asleep or take a painkiller after. But it was at this point I thought of a genius solution. So during high school, I wasn't really able to like do anything to distract myself other than just paying attention to class. But you know, the teachers really pay attention to what you're doing. But in university, <laughs> on the other hand, you know, the professor usually don't care. So I decided to bring out my laptop and started to do game dev. This is actually kind of dumb, but also genius at the same time. But I really like this idea. Now, uh, I didn't just went ahead and start doing game dev during class because I kind of get embarrassed. Like, you know how everyone's like either looking down on their phone quietly swiping or looking at a blackboard, paying attention to what the professor is saying. And I'm just here making clicking noises, doing, making keyboard noises. <laughs> Like that's like that's like the loudest noise during the lecture, aside from professor talking. And aside from that, the people who sit behind me can see what the hell I'm doing right now. <laughs> like, uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but you know, I I get embarrassed. Like, you know how artists like draw stuff and they don't want to let other people to see. It's kind of like that. I also don't want like just a Randall to walk walk up to me and ask to make this game <laughs> but still what else am i gonna do am i just gonna am i just gonna fall asleep i don't want to fall asleep i hate headaches last week uh, it has been great applying this strategy uh, i still fell asleep time from time to time and get small headaches but overall the situation has improved now some people might just be like frog why don't you just be a better student it's hard man Plus, when I'm like doing game dev stuff, I can uh, occasionally like look at a blackboard and pro pay attention to what the professor is saying for like a few seconds and went back to what I'm doing and not be sleepy, which is good. And if the professor uh, happens to be serious, I can just stop and pay attention to what he's saying. And you see, you see, you see, it all works out. It's, it's, it's awesome. The only real downside to this is that I can't really do sound design or music compo composition during class because that requires me wearing a headphone, which is not a problem, but I don't hear as well. And plus, I also had to pay attention to what the professor is saying, so yeah. Oh no, it's a pretty cool solution to the problem, to this headache cycle that I'm having. Uh, aside from the fact that I have to watch out for my power usage. Yeah, suddenly I'm playing FNAF during lecture. Now I didn't make this to like tell you all if you have this problem, you should just start like playing video games during class or something. Because all in all you're a student and you should still pay attention, like try your best at it. But if you're still having this kind of issue, I also have other methods of distracting myself. Something like uh, the last English class I had. Now my English teacher like doesn't really want us to use electronic devices during class, which is a bit annoying. But that's fine. I found the counter to that. Uh, I decided to like just start counting numbers. 
on my paper sheet. I don't know if that actually works, considering that counting sheep is actually a method to get you to sleep. But uh, I'm actually writing on a notebook, like uh, my hands are moving. And I guess uh, if that doesn't really work, I guess you can try to count prime numbers, because like, it takes a little bit more efforts. But anyway, uh, I kind of made this ramped up talk video because I want to. Uh, it's not really a usual devlog, but uh, hey, uh, I'll see you next time.